Hey guys, welcome back to the home gym today. If you've been following me on Instagram or YouTube, you've known that I'm kind of a sled guy. I really love sleds for cardio and conditioning type work. And you may know I already own the Torque M1 tank, which I really love. It's a magnetic resistant sled, but I did have a company reach out to me that wanted me to test out one of their traditional sleds. So they gave me a couple to pick from. I, ch I chose the biggest, baddest, and beefiest one. Uh, the one with the 500 pound weight capacity. So we're going to test it out, put it through the paces, and possibly see if we can break it. You will see a lot of uh, B-roll and clips, so I might do a voiceover. Today we're going to be looking at the Vivor Push-Pull Home Gym Sled. Stick with me, and we'll check it out. Boop. Sleds. Okay, so here's me carrying it into the garage while the girls are having a dance party in the background. And you'll see the packaging here. As it was shipped to me, it came with a big hole in the box. You can see me sticking my arm through there, all the way through the box. But luckily, all the parts were still in, intact inside the box. And we're gonna start taking this thing out and get all the pieces laid out here for you and show you how it comes, how it ships. Uh, there's the packaging, everything is packed in plastic and foam rubber so we're just getting rid of all that plastic and then going to start getting all the pieces out we'll give you a clip here to show you what it looks like all outside of the box and then there's my girls helping out with the trash they love helping out when dad gets new gym equipment in getting all the pieces laid out and then we're going to start putting this bad boy together There are a few dings and nicks here that I got from shipping. You can see right there, and right here on the tube, there's a burr right there where the handle side of that tube, that's what holds the handle on. But here's all the pieces laid out. It comes with instructions and a tow cable. Now you can see here, it comes with five bolts, uh, four that are the same size and one that is for the weight horn. So we're just taking each bolt and we're going to line it up and then hand tighten it. And then we're gonna come back with a tool and tighten them all down. So it does come with a cheapo wrench and a cheapo little bolt holder, but I would highly recommend just getting your tools out. It's gonna go way faster. Here I'm using a DeWalt drill driver. If you have any kind of tool like this, I would definitely use that. It's gonna go much faster. And they're just awesome to have in the home gym. On the last one, I think we just did, we might've done a socket to tighten that last weight horn, but um, that's pretty much all you had. There is to it. Make sure it's tight, everything's lined up, ready to go. You put the poles in and there you have it. Now it does come, this is what all what it comes with. It comes with the sled unit with the two poles that are usable on each side, that large weight pin in the center, and then it comes with a tow cable and a shoulder harness that you can wear around your shoulders and tow that way. But I couldn't get it on. I'll show you clips of that too. But so it's probably going to be for smaller stature folks. We've got it all together. We're going to take it out to the street and see how it goes. I would highly recommend tipping it up on the front and carrying it on these bottom posts. If not, you'll possibly knock yourself in the shins. So you definitely do not want to do that. But here's me just testing it with no weight, seeing how it's going to slide on the asphalt in front of the house. And here's my daughter telling me it's leaving marks on the road. I'll show you a clip of that too. You'll hear it grinding on the asphalt or concrete. That's just metal on the asphalt grinding. There's no skis or anything on the bottom of the thing. It's just straight metal. And this is what the road looked like right after we did it. The thing is, it didn't get much worse. It just continued to look like that. I don't know if it's the crown of the road or what, but that's how it did. Now we're back in the backyard testing out in grass to see if on different surfaces if it makes a difference just adding a couple plates to it now in the grass it's much tougher to push than it is on concrete or asphalt or even in the garage on basement concrete flooring you'll see even sometimes right here it gets stuck if you don't push high enough it gets stuck in the grass but it does move well, even uh, even with just the straight metal. Now we're going to start hooking up the uh, tow attachment and then pull it here, do some backwards pulls. It does come with a tow harness, but considering it didn't fit me very well, and I'll show you some clips of that too, 
I went with the Rep Fitness dip belt and attached it to the tow cable that comes with it. It's like a nylon type strap and it worked well, but I wasn't able to use the, uh, the tow harness that comes with it. I hear I'm testing out some D handles on there. I'm just using the tow cable that comes with it and attaching my D handles there. You can just do straight pulls with those or do this row type movement that seems to be pretty good here. And those are the bare steel equipment stacked cable handles that I'm using here. And they seem to hold up well. Uh, they're aluminum, but even pulling this heavy weight, they seem to work well. Back to the road. We're gonna let you hear what it sounds like with some heavy weight on there on the road. And you'll see it's scraping up the asphalt there pretty good, but it's pretty much the same spot. It's not getting really any worse. It's kind of just that same spot over and over. But I'll show you a picture when we get done here that uh, about a week or two later, on what the road looks like after it's rained a couple of times, the cars will drove over it. It's back to the normal, uh, it looks normal out there where the concrete is still kind of scratched up, but the asphalt area, I don't know if it's the, what it's made out of or the heat, but it's. And so now the asphalt is back to normal. We're back in the garage. I'm going to test it on smooth concrete see how it goes i'm loading up 45s and 55s on here so i got four 45s and two 55s then i'm going to add a 150 pound sandbag on there as well as a 40 to 80 pound sandbag so we're looking at 600 to 650 pounds on here and you can see it moves well it slides fine it doesn't it doesn't break or bend or the poles aren't moving and then i'm just going to unload it here's a hack for you right here if you have a standard weight sled or even a torque fitness sled these ab mat, the ab mat plate spacers, they're great. Makes it easy to get the plates on and off. Now here's me tying on the, tro the tow harness and I wasn't able to get it on. Your coat. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> that guy in a little coat. A little coat. Don't. <laughs> that guy in a little coat. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. That was me trying to take this V-Bore sled and put it through the paces, seeing if I could break it, and it held up to the abuse. So, you know, if you're looking for a budget home gym sled, you can get this one on Amazon. I've seen it from as low as $142 up to $169, but that's well cheaper than any of the other ones out there, like Rogue and some of the other ones I've seen. So there's all kinds of them on Amazon. They all look to be pretty similar to me, but this one, I've tested it, I've used it. It seems to be heavy made steel, so I would highly recommend it if you're looking for a cheap budget sled and you're not scared of uh, upsetting the HOA, so you don't want to upset your neighbors and make all that noise, I would take a look at this one. It seems to do the job. If you have, you have a box gym or you do stuff in a parking lot, like some gyms, they'll do these behind or you have smooth concrete. It, it definitely does a good job. Uh, I'm not so much on grass or turf, but you know you can use it in there as well. It says you can use it on seven or eight different surfaces, but I used it... Um, where I think people would use it the most. So thanks for watching. If you're interested in purchasing it, please check the uh, link in the description and go get it there. Uh, all my other affiliate links are in the description, so please take a look at those. We appreciate if you use those. If you like any of our videos and you find what we're doing helpful, take it easy. You guys have a great day, and go sled or go lift. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah!